In this lecture, I am going to solve some questions on invertibility and inverse systems concept. So many students asked me to solve some questions on this concept. That's why I am making this video. First, we will discuss what is this invertible and inverse system. Then we will solve some questions. So I will give some easy steps to find the how to find the system is invertible or how to find the inverse of the invertible systems. Right now, what is this invertible is? A system is said to be invertible if distinct inputs leads to distinct outputs. That means different for different different inputs, I should get different different outputs. Then only the system is invertible, right? So if if two different inputs are giving same output, then the system is not invertible, right? Once the system is invertible, then we will have inverse system, right? So that is this one. So distinct inputs leads to distinct output. Then only the system is said to be invertible, right? So something like this. So this is some system. If I give some x of t, I'll get y of t, right? Now this system is said to be invertible if different different inputs, I should get different different outputs. Then it will have inverse system. Now if I pass this y of t through this inverse system, I will recover my original signal. So that is the invertible. So if a system is invertible, using the inverse of that system, I can recover my original signal. So I sent, suppose x of t is equal to u of t or x of t is equal to sin t, right? y of t, I got some signal, right? Some output. Now how to recover my original signal? So we have to pass this y of t through inverse of the this system, right? So to get the inverse of system, we have to know that this system is invertible or not. So how can we say the system is invertible or not? If if I apply two different inputs, if I am getting two different outputs, so this system is invertible, right? Similarly, this is a continuous time system, similar discrete time systems like this. That is, if I give x of n, I will get y of n. So if y of n is passing through this inverse of the system, I will recover my x of n at the output of this inverse system, right? It's discrete time system also different different inputs I should get different different outputs then only the system is said to be invertible and it will have inverse system then I will recover my original signal right now we will solve some questions on this concept so determine if each of the following systems is invertible if it is invertible we have to find the inverse of that system if it is not we have to find two input signals to the system that have the same output so we have to find the two signals so which will give the same output right now this is the first one y of t is equal to x of t minus 4 now so it's uh, you, you can easily identify this is a shifted version right suppose if i take in x of t is equal to some delta t so what i will get y of t is equal to delta t minus 4 yes or no if i give x of t is equal to u of t right different different signals i will take u of t so what is the y of t i will get u of t minus 4 so distinct inputs i am getting different different outputs right that means the system is therefore the system is invertible invertible right once it is invertible how to find the inverse of that system now to find the inverse of the system it is difficult to find directly from this time domain signal so this is a continuous time system right now we have to use one approach if you use that approach you can easily identify what is the inverse of that system so that's that procedure is using if it is a continuous time system using laplace transform if it is a discrete time system using jet transform we can easily identify or we can easily find the inverse of that system now how so we know after we passing through this inverse system, I should get x of t again, right? It is something like this. This is x of t I have given. It is passing through some system. I got x of t minus 4 as y of t. If I pass this y of t through this inverse system, I should get x of t. So this x of t, what we have assumed in this uh, previous, you know, when we discussed the concept of w t, right? So what, what is the procedure is, W t is equal to, I should get x of t. Now, take the Laplace transform both sides, I will get W of capital S, x of 
capital X. If I find X of S from this given expression, then that inverse is that is inverse system only. Now how? So follow like this. Y of t is equal to X of t minus four. If you follow this procedure, it is very easy to find the inverse of that system, right? Now take Laplace transform y of s. Now we have to use the which uh, which property? The shifting property. That is, I will write here. If x of t is having a Laplace transform as x of s, and x of t minus t naught, what is the Laplace transform? E power minus s into t naught x of s, right? Now what is the t naught here? Four. So e power minus four s into x of s. But what we need x of s. See x of s. So what is x of s? E for minus four is going denominator here. So that will become e power four s into y of s. Now see what is x of s? W of s. So what is the w of s? E power four s into y of s. Now take inverse Laplace transform. What I will get? W of t is equal to. So this is again shifted version. So can I take like this? Y of t plus four. Then only I will get this because we know the shifting property. Minus means I will get minus. Plus means I should get plus. So this is the inverse of the system, right? Now, so what we got? Y of t is equal to x of t minus four. Now pass through this one. Y of t plus four. So see, see y of t is equal to x of t minus four. But what is y of t plus four? So y of t is equal to x of t minus four. So what is y of t plus four? Now substitute in place of t, t plus four. So I will get x of t only. So I am able to recover my original signal back. So what is the inverse of the system? Simply y of t plus four, right? Now we'll see this question. So y of t is equal to cos of x of t. Now We first will check is it a invertible or not. If x of t is equal to zero, so what is the y of t? This is nothing but cos of zero. Cos of zero is one. If x of t is equal to, if I take two pi, so what is the y of t? Cos of two pi. What is cos of two pi again? One. See here for two two distinct inputs, two different inputs, I am getting same output. Yes or no? So it is not. Invertible, yes or no? So that is we can easily identify. The moment we see cos of something, so if this x of t is equal to zero or uh, no two pi or pi three pi etc., so I'll get same outputs. Now it is not an invertible system. So this we can say two di distinct inputs, right? Next we'll see this uh, question. So this is minus infinity to t x of tau d tau. Now the moment we are integrating, so if I take x of t is equal to delta t, that is some impulse function. If I integrate impulse function, what I will get? Simply unit step function. If I take unit step function, what I will get? Y of t integration of uh, u of t will get ramp function r of t. So if I give some one, right, I will get t. If I give some two, I will get two t. So different different signals I am getting. So It is an invertible system. So because two different different inputs, I am getting different different outputs. So invertible system. Now, how to find the inverse of that system? Now, same procedure. We have to use Laplace transform. So, just we know the property of the integration. So, what is the integration property? We know integration of x of t dt is equal to simply one by s x of s. Right, so for example, the limits integration is there. So I will get one by s into x of s. Now, apply the same here. Y of s is equal to what is this? One by s x of s. Now, what is x of s? Simply s into y of s. Now, if I take the inverse Laplace transform, what is x of t is equal to? See how when we multiply s into y of s, so we should know the differentiation property. So d by dt of y of t. This is nothing but s into y of s in the Laplace domain. So if I take the inverse Laplace transform of this signal, I will get d by dt of y of t. 
so this is the inverse of the system so i can make wt right see see here so y of t is equal to minus infinity to x of tau d tau now if x of t is equal to d by dt of y of t so what i will get so differentiation integration will be cancelled so both will be equal so this is the inverse of the system right so very simple next one this is given y of t is equal to minus infinity to t e power minus of t minus of x out of d tau again it is looking like a integration only but if you recall y of t is equal to some x of t convolved with h of t convolution so what is the formula minus infinity to t x of tau h of t minus tau d tau yes or no now is it looking like same right if i assume if i accept h of t is equal to e for minus t so what is this using this formula what i will get same formula i will get see minus infinity to t x of tau in place of h of t minus tau e power minus of t minus tau d tau what is this same right here also same that means if i convert different different signals i'll get different signals that is you know pakka it is a it is an it is an invertible system now how to find the inverse of that system that is somewhat difficult now how to find again using the laplace transform we can we can get very quick how we know if if we are doing convolution in time domain what happens to in the frequency domain or a laplace domain y of s is equal to multiplication of these two yes or no so what is the h of t we know h of t is nothing but e power minus t right so what is h of t is equal to e power minus t into u of t because 0 to 2 we can get so what is this h of s simply 1 by s plus 1 that we know already now just to substitute here find x of s that's it now i'm finding here so y of s is equal to x of s into h of s which is 1 by s plus 1 now what is x of s simply it will become s into y of s plus y of s now if i take the inverse laplace transform what i will get x of t is equal to s means d by dt of y of t plus y of t so what is the inverse system nothing but this one wt so this is the inverse of this system let us see using the laplace transform we can easily get but using in the time domain so it is very difficult to find the inverse of this system unless until we know directly the answer right next we will solve these two questions the very simple questions so y of t is equal to d by dt of x of t so the moment differentiation comes so you may think like this x of t is equal to 1 so what is the y of t constant differentiation is 0 if x of t is equal to 5 again y of t is becoming 0 only so for two different uh, no, signals i am getting same output so not invertible system simple so what about this one y of t is equal to x of 2t is it invertible or not yes just think if x of t is equal to delta t so what is the y of t delta of 2t yes or no because x of 2t now what is delta 2t 1 by 2 delta t 1 if i take x of t is equal to suppose 2 times of delta t so what is y of t it is nothing but 2 times of delta of 2t what is this 2 into 1 by 2 into delta t so 2 to cancel delta t so this is 1 by 2 delta t this is delta t both are different right so area will be different so different different uh, signals i am getting different different outputs also if i give delta t one signal and u of t another signal so i will get definitely different signal so it is an invertible system invertible system now how to find the inverse of the system it's very simple how to find x of t from this directly i can make but using the laplace transform also i will find but the moment if i make like this y of t by 2 what i will get see here in place of y of t is equal to x of 2t if i make y of t by 2 what i will get x of 2 into t by 2 these two will be cancelled i will get x of t so what is the inverse of the system y of t by 2 
but how to find using laplace transform that also we'll see so y of t is equal to we know x of 2t now how to find the inverse of the system using laplace transform now if i take the laplace transform in both sides here i need to use scaling property so what is the scaling property if x of t a t is there so laplace transform is nothing but 1 by a x of s by a right now see 1 by a into x of s by a 2 but we need x of s so make like this so x of s by 2 is nothing but 2 into y of s but i need x of s if i replace s by 2 with some suppose some different constant suppose x s by 2 is equal to some k so what is s s is nothing but 2 k so in place of s by 2 we have to replace with k so x of k is equal to 2 times of y of 2k but we need in terms of s domain again replace k equal to s so what i will get x of s is equal to 2 times of y of 2s now what is the scaling property it is 1 by a y of s by a it should be in this form so can i make like this 1 by 1 by 2 y of s by 1 by 2 because 1 by a into y of s by a so what is this if i take the inverse laplace transform this will become x of t is equal to y of a t what is a 1 by 2 t see we got the same expression as we got here see here x of t is equal to y of t by 2 here also t by 2 so this is how to find the inverse of the invertible systems right using laplace transform we can easily find the inverse of the any invertible system right so i hope the concept is clear this invert how to find the invertible is it invertible or not if it is invertible how to find the inverse of the system so this is about the continuous time systems in the next lecture we will see how to find or how to identify invertibility and how to find the inverse of the systems right